Liam Fox has launched an outspoken attack on the EU, saying it will risk harming its own people if it refuses to enter talks on a post-Brexit trade deal within weeks. The International Trade Secretary also dismissed warnings that the huge tariff slapped on bombardier planes part made in Belfast had harmed the chances of a UCAS trade deal, insisting there were no parallels. And he again called for Britain to crash out of the EU with no deal if Brussels cuts up rough, saying we don't need one and we could make a very good success if we didn't. The comments came at a fringe meeting at the Conservative Conference, where Dr. Fox toured into media organizations that were pessimistic about Brexit. Much of the focus is on the deadlocked negotiations, which have dashed British hopes of getting a go-ahead to move on to trade talks at an EU summit later this month. Michelle Barnier, the EU's chief negotiator warned it could take months for the talks to progress, while Jean-Claude Juncker, the Commission's president, said a go-ahead this month would need miracles. But, asked if he agreed, Dr. Fox said I don't think it's a question of miracles. It's a question of putting the economic well-being of European citizens before the concept of ever closer union, that's what it boils down to. The Trade Secretary also attacked Mr. Junker's recent speech, calling for an elected president, an EU army, and for all countries to adopt the euro, as an entire validation of the case for Brexit. Lots of people are saying absolutely, that's the danger we feared, he added. In her recent Florence speech, her attempt to break the impasse in the talks, Theresa May did not repeat her earlier threat that no deal is better than a bad deal. But Dr. Fox insisted Britain had nothing to fear from leaving with no agreement, saying people talk about this as if there is some sort of horror about this. He said Britain traded with the rest of the world on World Trade Organization terms, including with the U.S., with which this country has a large surplus. Dr. Fox also rejected warnings that his hopes of an early free trade agreement with Donald Trump had been badly damaged by the bombardier dispute. Theresa May responded to the 219 percent import duty imposed after Boeing complained that the Canadian foreign bombardier had received unfair state aid by threatening a trade war with the U.S. At stake is much more than 4,000 jobs at Bombardier's Belfast factories, given the high hopes of an early post-Brexit trade deal with Washington. But Dr. Fox denied any connection, saying this is basically a bus cannot a dispute between Boeing and Bombardier. Arguing Britain had been caught in the crossfire of a much larger dispute, he added I don't think you can draw parallels with the UK case for a trade deal. Dr. Fox described the U.S. action as disproportionate and unacceptable, but stopped short of echoing the Prime Minister's warning of retaliatory action against Boeing. Reuse Content